back to what was it? Oh, I wish there was a recap. Anyway. Oh man. All right. Well, I have no that... recollection of what's happening whatsoever. Something about a dream. Muruko Ikasaba. Mukuro. Muruko. Dang it. Ikasaba. <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately. Yeah. All right. Maybe we'll learn her name. There was a pool. There was a. There was a pool. Sweaty and a hoodie. Knife and a sweaty hoodie. And that may or may not have been swallowing his head. That's right. Yeah. Yeah, uh, hopefully Makoto has changed his shirt. Time for breakfast. If there's, is there anyone <laughs> to confirm if that really was a dream or not? Is this real life? Is he feeling better? Are you feeling better? Is this just fantasy? Maybe Wait. get some... Is there anyone to confirm if that was real? Oh. Oh, oh check <laughs> for the knife. Check for the knife. I open the desk drawer and... Huh? Uh-oh. My screwdriver! <laughs> it's empty. There's nothing inside. You better replace it with a sewing kit or else... <laughs> Wait, nothing inside. That's... strange. Also strange is like, why is the bed randomly in the middle of the room like that? Yeah. <laughs> I didn't notice that before. I, th I presumed it was next to the desk, but it's like in front of the desk? Might just be the angle we're looking at it since this, these are all weird 2D cutouts. Yeah. Because it definitely wasn't before. I mean, the bed layout thing probably was, but not the... Anyway. I'm positive I put the knife I got from Toko in here. Toko's knife. The knife for Toko. Mm -hmm. Wait, that means... Hi. Uh. Oh! Oh, thank God they recapped this. <laughs> <laughs> I was so lost. The knife they told me to keep safe. You're going to be dead, Makoto. I knew it. I just had a feeling. I was hooked on it. Oh. <laughs> it wasn't a dream after all. Fine. I'm That's... taking main character away from you for that. <laughs> this all makes even less sense. Why would someone have wanted to attack me? Uh, I could make a list. <laughs> <laughs> and who was that behind the mask? Behind the music behind the mask. That one doesn't even make any sense. Who was behind the music played on VH1? Yeah, I, I got the <laughs> reference. Uh, and who, who, is who is that face in the mask? Oh, that was a little better. What the hell is going on? What is going on? <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, Let's flash back and find <laughs> out. Well, I don't think I'm gonna figure it out on my own. You Correct. never do. Although I should probably, I should probably flash back a couple more times just to be sure. <laughs> Whoosh, <laughs> luchador. <laughs> Whoosh, chills. <laughs> I should head to the dining hall. Whoosh, Sayaka. Too far, too far. I went too far. <laughs> oh. Then I could talk to everyone else about it. Oh yes, everyone wants to listen to your <laughs> dreams, Makoto. That's always great conversation. Like, so I, it turns out I had a fever. It was super sick. <laughs> Makoto. Guess what crazy thing I kind of dreamed, kind of not. Best case scenario, Hero believes you. <laughs> yes. Hina might. Yeah. Biaki would just tell him to shut up, and that'd be the end of it. All right. Good morning, everybody. No, Makoto, you're not feeling well. <laughs> <laughs> well. All right. Okay, yes. wait, feeding the fish, checking the fish, I gotta check the fish. I didn't check the fish during free time. <laughs> this poor, sad Makoto that John has created. <laughs> oh! uh. <laughs> You're never gonna see those <laughs> fish. See those fish again. <laughs> I need to tell the others about my dream. They're probably all in the dining hall. <laughs> that phrase just seems so dumb. <laughs> I <laughs> uh, see. So he's more than willing to sprint headfirst into Sakura's room, but he'll casually stroll to the dining room where... Hey, Makoto. I was going to say everyone is, but apparently not. Ah, oh, Makoto! Yep, that's Makoto! Sure as the sky's blue! What? Hey, Hina! Uh... So, it's breakfast! Would you like seven donuts? You really had me worried, you know? What happened to you last night? No fucking clue. <laughs> <laughs> Worried? <laughs> I mean... Yeah, right after nighttime hit, we all went to get you. We were hammering away at your doorbell, but you never answered. We thought maybe you'd been... You know... Horribly murdered? Psyched? I mean, 
not that that it actually happened. I mean, nobody here would want to, you know. So anyway, what were you doing? Uh, I didn't feel good, so I went right to bed. I had no idea you guys even showed up. But why did you come to get me? Did did something happen? Um, well, lots of stuff actually. I'm not sure I can really explain. Okay. Let's go meet up with everyone else. Then they can tell you about it. So, is everyone waiting somewhere or something? That's right. Oh yeah, we stayed up the whole night. Oh. Whoa. The, the whole night? I was swimming for most of it. I lost a rock, paper, scissors, so I had to come get breakfast for everyone. Okay. Is somebody being slowly eaten by the plant? <laughs> <laughs> and they're just watching. <laughs> Heroes up there. <laughs> you just see his feet sticking out. The oh, plant had to, oh, yeah, the plant oh. had to slow down because it was getting high. <laughs> <laughs> so you got here just in time. <laughs> come on, help me carry it. It's three plates of donuts. Nothing but donuts. This oh. is just for her. Oh, okay, sure. <laughs> I'm like, all right, so these are for me. You've got everyone else's donuts. <laughs> Everyone's in the gym. Hurry up, I'll meet you there. The, the gym? Why is everyone in the gym? And the entire night? Huh. <laughs> Whoa, that was like a determined, confident huh. His huhs are evolving. Alright. Okay. Maybe there's just enough time for me to check the bathroom and check those fish first. <laughs> Makoto, <laughs> this is starting to become a sickness. <laughs> oh! Yeah, uh-huh. Uh-huh. Alright, now I need to get to the gym. Everyone else is there already. Alright, good luck, fish. I believe in you. <laughs> good luck, fish. I believe in you. Future Phil, that's going to be this episode's title. <laughs> This is worse than being late for your wedding, the birth of your son, and your own funeral all at once. What? Wow. Why would they happen at the same time? <laughs> wow. That's a hell of a day. One of those. <laughs> Wait, wasn't that basically what happened on uh, um, Downton Abbey at one point? Uh, possibly. Uh, anyway. Yes, just show up now like it's no big deal. You made us stay up all night while you slept like a b baby in your bed? Just like Hina said, everyone was there. Besides Kyoko. And then I noticed. They'd formed a circle around something. Uh-oh. As soon as I saw what that something was... Uh oh it's Junko, she's back! And speared more than ever! What the... Before I could catch myself... I'd cried out! Oh. Spread out in front of them were the remains of Monokuma. Whoa. What are you doing? What does it look like? We're dismantling it to see what makes it tick. Dismantling? But I mean, that's Monokuma you're messing with, right? Yeah, that's right. Togo is not happy to be holding the butt. She's <laughs> not even phased. Well, they've had all night to yeah, be thinking about it. <laughs> Relax, there's no danger. You say that, but... What is this? What are you guys doing? Let's uh, ask you. Find out. <laughs> we'll never get the most, the clearest answer from. Seriously, what are you thinking? Alright, so there's... These Aztecs, all right? And then... <laughs> how can you say tearing apart something like that isn't dangerous? Hey, come on. Well, I guess I'll handle this. I'll explain what's going on, Makoto, because that's how much I like you. Hmm. Piaka found this little fella lying around, and then we tore it apart. Oh, well, oh, then... Okay. The end! <laughs> Credits roll! <laughs> Produced by Hero. That doesn't explain anything. <laughs> 
Just before we went to bed last night, I came to the gym to try and talk to Monokuma. Yeah, that's not suspicious. I wanted to see if he had any new information about Kyoko's disappearance. And I found him in here, just like normal. However, when I found him, he was no more than a regular toy. He didn't react, didn't say a word. Hmm. You're saying he wasn't moving at all? Hmm. I waited there until nighttime officially began, but still Monokuma laid there motionless. I gathered everyone up as quickly as possible so they could take a look. Even then, he still didn't make a move. Hmm. So I immediately initiated the disassembly process. He delegated. As per protocol. <laughs> it was Master's stroke of genius. A chance to find out what made Monokuma tick? Hmm. One thing we discovered is that he's quite a sophisticated machine. It's leagues beyond any normal remote control toy. Who has enough free time to invest in something like that anyway? Beyond me, of course. But, but, but besides that, what I'm wondering is, why did he stop moving all of a sudden? Hmm. Well, I thought maybe he'd malfunctioned, but we didn't find any cause as we were taking him apart. Because we definitely would have realized or noticed? Yeah, you know. We don't, we don't have the ultimate engineer among us. <laughs> Chihiro's gone. Yeah. I'm thinking like Chihiro shouting from beyond the grave, It's a software problem! <laughs> Are you... Implying that Hero's probably not a robotics expert? Well, he's not the he ultimate have... robotics expert. <laughs> yes. So if he didn't break down... So in other words... Then maybe something happened to his puppeteer, the mastermind. Something unexpected. I can't imagine any other possibility. Something unexpected? <laughs> they were probably so scared of Master, they ran away in terror. You know, three weeks later. <laughs> Could it be? Maybe they got sick or something. I hear something's going around. Yeah, uh. what if they did 50 laps in the pool? That'd be dumb. But Monokuma made his announcement this morning, right? Who was that, if not the Mastermind? Hmm. No, oh, I'm sure that's recorded. Told you! Oh, well, there you go. It's set to a timer and plays as necessary. Told you! You and Biakia are right. Aww. How does that feel? <laughs> that's true! He says the exact same thing every day, right? Hey! Hey, guys! I don't think now's a good time for light conversation. <laughs> you know? <laughs> <laughs> I just found something! What is this? It, 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 it. It what? was laid by one of the chickens! <laughs> uh, uh, bomb, there's one installed in every Monokuma robot, I'm sure. What? What? Uh, bomb? Oh. That's super bad! We need to get rid of it! Uh, um. Roger that! Hmm. Don't throw it! It appears the bomb has a motion sensor. Any sudden movements, it's sure to go off. What? What? <laughs> motion sensor? For serious? Uh, I'm starting to get all shaky. Well, that's helpful. Just a second. Hey, get together. You're a man, aren't you? A lot of people have been killed by the patriarchy in this <laughs> game, so uh, let's let's not... Yeah. I'm fine. I'm totally fine. Uh, uh, uh. You're so not fine. You're all... Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> oh, I probably should have mentioned, but the motion sensor is off right now. <laughs> How does he know this? He's trolling them. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. Don't scare me like that. Should I scare you like this instead? <laughs> oh, he's a ghost. God, you're like the world's most spineless worm of a century. No, uh, in fairness, he thought he was handling an <laughs> active <laughs> bomb. Holding but... a bomb is pretty nerve-wracking, I think. Don't be mean. Hey, come on. The century just getting started. <laughs> Don't call the race already. <laughs> <laughs> it's not very optimistic. <laughs> what, whatever. Just hurry up and put the bomb down. Hanging on to it's not g gonna do anyone any good. Uh, um. Oh, yeah. Good call. I know. 
Well? Okay, it's down. Everything's all good. I wouldn't go that far. Forever. Hero put the bomb down. But that wasn't my main concern at that point. <laughs> oh, um, hmm, okay. My eyes were glued to Monokuma's remains. Ew. He just stopped moving all of a sudden. There's probably like zillions of these. Was it really because something had happened to the Mastermind that they weren't expecting? But what could that have been? One, I thought about it. I couldn't help but think back to the night before. Being attacked by that masked figure. Just a second. Hey, uh, Makoto? Huh? Hey. Don't huh <laughs> us like you literally <laughs> always do. Did you hear a thing we just just said? You just said? Okay. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> so that's a no. What are you? Some kind of brain dead farm animal? Meh. <laughs> Sorry. Hmm. We were saying, since we're done dismantling Monokuma, what should we do now? <laughs> and we've decided to continue our offensive assault. You're always offensive, so that shouldn't be a problem. Hey -oh! clear now. To try and uncover the Mastermind's true identity, we're going to break into the Headmaster's room. Uh, really? Naturally. Since the Mastermind appears to have stopped all activity, now's our chance. Wouldn't you agree? But, 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 <laughs> if the mastermind comes back while we're in there. What? If you're scared, you're welcome to stay here by yourself. What the heck? Or go live in the chicken coop with all the other chickens. You can be chicken number six. Yeah, because there's five. Such ignorance. Yeah, that doesn't seem like it's something that's being emphasized over and over <laughs> and over <Yeah>. again. <laughs> that's you. Did anyone else notice that the, uh, uh, the particular breed of uh, chicken uh, goes by many names, but uh, most commonly red herring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, this is a this is a battle, a fight to the death between us and the mastermind. We don't have time to deliberate. But... Yeah, I mean, I don't want to have to kill each other or anyone else, but we have a chance now. Come on. So, what are you going to do? Are you going to run away, or are you going to fight? Mm. You're right. I'll go with you. It's all clear now. Okay, then. We're going to break into the headmaster's room. Which is open. Everything comes down to this moment. Anything can happen, so prepare yourselves. It's already open. Oh. Fine. <laughs> I'll follow you anywhere, master. All the ends of the earth. Even that one? Yes. <laughs> Sakura, if you can oh. hear me, lend me your strength. Oh. How about that? I can do this. I'm a man. I can do this. I've got the will of the entire universe on my side. No, you don't, but okay. We each found determination in our own ways. And when we are ready... We left the gym. I've got the will of the whole multiverse on my side. Excelsior! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Our target was the headmaster's room on the fourth floor of the school. Which had already been opened, but okay. Yeah. Mm. Well, but aren't they saying they're going to confront the mastermind? Oh. Like, that's what he, why Hina was like, like, I don't want to kill anyone, but... Oh. This is our chance to maybe take out the Mastermind. And remember where that room is. Oh, hey, hey. Okay. Sakura is going to be watching over us. Oh. So we're definitely going to find something to help us bring this to an end. IOTP. Ugh. <laughs> <laughs> Naturally, Master's the one to show such bravery. We haven't had a good Genocide Jill appearance in a while. I know. Just make sure you don't get in his way. I miss Genocide Jill. Hmm. We all do. <laughs> we finally reached the climax. Oh. So, let's hurry up and finish it before the Mastermind catches us all. Let's go. 
This is where we expose every last detail of the mastermind. Let's not and say we did. Is everyone ready? That really has a would you like to save your game feel. <laughs> yeah. We haven't saved We're our game in a long time. Let's stop and save the game. <laughs> 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 Come to think of it, uh, would you like to save our game? Yeah, we would like, like to save, save our, our game. game. Oh, look, the start of this chapter. Sure. Yeah, yeah. Technically the end of the last one. Okay, yeah. All right, okay. I feel better. I feel a little better now. All right. <laughs> okay. Hmm. Hmm. It's locked as expected. So, what are you going to do? What? Isn't it obvious? We're going to tear this door off its hinges. Wait, but the rules say... We've seen that the mastermind isn't watching us. Those don't matter anymore. You do it. Let's give it a... But, like Makoto said, if the mastermind did show up while we were in there... No, 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 no. Let's let Biakia do this <laughs> and, so you know... Words. Then we'll just have to finish our business before that can happen. Go ahead, Biakia. Come on, come on. Hey. Okay, sure, but... What? We've come this far. We can't back down now. We agreed this is what we have to do, so we have to do it. Wow, you just sort of descended into, uh, like, a World War II broadcast there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> so beautiful. Dateline, Hope Peak Academy. I mean... For serious? What the heck? We don't have any choice. We're desperate. Okay. Go ahead, Biakia. Let's do it. Let's rip this door down! Actually... Okay, but... How are we gonna do that? This thing looks pretty sturdy. Hmm. Then we'll need something sturdy of our own. Oh! What about that, uh... One thing? Thanks, Makoto! What? <laughs> <laughs> the lawnmower! <laughs> <laughs> the thing in the tool shed! Oh, so then... Oh, yeah! The pickaxe! See. Interesting. That could very well be exactly what we need. A pickaxe would not be my first choice, but okay. No, then, Toko, what time is it? Well, when we left the gym, it was just before 9 o'clock, so it's probably 9 on the d dot now. It's all clear now. What? Okay. Go get the pickaxe and be back here by 9.01. That's straight up unreasonable! I... by myself? Naturally. Surely you like to have your me time once in a while, right? Well, <laughs> if it's me and you time, Master, then... yeah. What? You know how much time it took you to say that? Ten seconds. Take too long and I'll erase your existence from my consciousness. With that, Toko ran off, loud as a herd of rabid elephants. <sighs> Where's Genocide Jill when you need her? Hey. For serious, though, are we just gonna knock this door down? <laughs> no problem is solved by running away. Find your stones and be a man. Says the delegator. He's right. You can't move forward by always avoiding danger. If you spend all your time trying to avoid danger, you'll never move forward. We know the danger, but if that risk means solving the mystery, we have no choice. Hey. Am I wrong? Even if it's dangerous, we have to overcome the challenges in front of us. Uh, um... Maybe, but, but I'm still super stressed. I'm so tense, I can hardly talk! No. <laughs> I'm all flubbust. No. I'm totally flabag. Flapstaff. Flagstaff? Flagstaff. No. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Fap sauce? Hey, hang on a second. Why is Genocide Jill here? Hmm? No? There's two reasons. There's two possible reasons. Did she kill somebody? Mm -hmm. Uh, well, she sneezed would be one of them. Is she allergic to something in the, 
Uh, I don't know. That's all right. That's all right. We can move on. Uh, 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 okay. All right. Okay. Well, let's find out. Okay. Gross! Where'd that come from? Wait, Genocide Jill? <laughs> Where'd you come from? You called for me, and so I appear. <laughs> hello, hello! <laughs> it's the Wondiferous Murderous Fiend, here to greet you with a razor sharp smile. Let's keep the serial killer. Toko can stay unconscious. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that. Come on. What about the pickaxe? Where is it? I don't share memories, man. I was supposed to pick an axe? No, you seeping imbecile. The pickaxe. Uh, seeping imbecile? Oh, master, you wound me with your executive level barbs. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the bloody nose. Seriously, though, did you really forget the pickaxe? <laughs> Omega, wait, <laughs> Omega-3 fatty acids! That's what you need! Great for the old memory factory! But I, I think we already established that their memory doesn't carry over when they switch. Yoko, come back! <laughs> Not possible. This is a level of uselessness I find difficult to tolerate. Ooh, yes, yes! Ah, the light bulb just went on! I see! That's why I went to the garden, right? I was supposed to get the pickaxe. <laughs> All right, we've solved one mystery. That means there's just one mystery left. One more mystery? Hmm. Have you reached that certain age? Yep. Now we just need to figure out the identity of object X. So, um, now what are you talking about? Did you already forget what we were talking about? <laughs> You're like, missing out on life. You gotta be kidding. I'm not missing out on life. In fact, I found one in the garden. What? What did you find? <laughs> Corps. You SOB! Did you hear me? I said corpse! A, a, a corpse? That's right. I found a corpse in the garden. Right. Is the thing the blood in the okay, yeah, yeah. Oh. You you found a corpse in the garden? What did you say? Well then, before we enter the headmaster's room, it appears we have something else to look into. Or this is here to distract us as uh, <laughs> and, and the uh, headmaster's room is suddenly going to get like bricked over. Come on. We're going to the garden. Uh, 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 okay. Yeah, headmaster's room is so getting bricked over. Uh, right. uh, stop. No, right. no, no, yeah, wait a minute. No, not stop. Yeah, no, stop, stop yeah, it. No. no, stop. One of two things is about to happen for our viewers at home, depending on, you know, timing wise. Either this episode's about to end. Sorry about that if that's the case. Or this episode is about to keep going. Again, not really me being able to gauge how much time is left between things. So, if this is the end of the episode, and you've probably seen the timestamp, so you know whether or not it is, have a great couple of days thinking about what's happening. And we'll see you next time.